Hey everyone, so I think I'm ready to give you the tour of our truck. We have the 2016 Freightliner Cascadia Evolution and I've organized it pretty much how I want it for right now but I'm always changing things and organizing, which is kind of my nature. My husband is out with his friend, um, kind of cruising around Lexington, so it's perfect timing because I have free reign of the truck to move around and show you everything. So hopefully you like the video, please leave me any questions or comments and uh, let's get on to the tour. All right, so this is the front. It's a standard Freightliner, so I'll go everything, over everything quickly. My husband keeps his lanyard of keys on this little command hook when he's not driving. He keeps the spare with him at all times, but when he's driving, he can wear them. When we're done for the day, he could stick them up there and won't lose them. And he has a cubby up there, lotion, um, squeegee for the interior windows if need be. He's got two little cargo nets, keeps his shop rags in the top his man stuff in the bottom, and then his CD goes there. When we got the truck, because it was brand new, um, it had a sunglasses holder, which you'll see mine in a second, but he put his CD right in there, so it worked perfect. There's a lock box here. We don't have anything of value to put in it, but it's available. And then, like I said, I have the same cargo nets, and in my sunglass holder, <laughs> I don't know why I just started doing it like that, hanging my sunglasses. Probably because mine are prescription, and if I scratch the lenses, that's a terrible thing. So, and the truck jostles around like crazy, so it's easier there. I usually put my glasses and my sunglasses there. And my postcards being here, they are in sight, in mind, so I don't forget to send them out. And right here, we usually have paper towels up there. I find that I need a roll in the back and a roll in the front. So if we're moving and we need a paper towel for some reason, I don't have to get up and go to the back. The top has an accordion folder of old papers, forms he needs to keep. And then the bottom one has his clipboard, his bill of laden stuff, the trip manifests, and his trip pack book. So, you know, whenever we need it, it's very easy to get to. I have the same little cubby. That is our change jar. We definitely repurpose things. <laughs> when we were done with that, uh, we go, you know, we need a place to put change, a small something. So at the end of the day, we clean our pockets out and it stays up there. And there's my speaker. And then the one thing I want to show you guys is I made this. <laughs> I used a small bungee cord and I clasped it behind the um, glove box door because <laughs> when we would be driving, my drinks would actually hop out of there because I have those flam uh, flimsy truck stop cup holders. So I find that using the bungee cord, they stay in place a little bit better and I've yet to have a drink fly out. <laughs> so it's definitely been a good thing to have. And I just push that bungee cord to the bottom of the cup holders and it holds them pretty well. So and then we have our XM we decided to place there, our little um, uh, adapter for all of our charger thingies. Okay, and then the, this is our another thing that we've sort of made. Um, we got just a regular phone holder that has the suction cup on the bottom. And we had this game in a cube. And my husband just stuck it on top of there. So when we're sitting in our chairs watching Netflix or Hulu, um, it sits on there at a good height for us. So just kind of one of those random trucker made situations. <laughs> Works out really well for us. And then his Qualcomm and his dash, his area. I usually don't touch his, the, you know, driver's side stuff because he's got it how he wants it, so. But that is the front. And this is the back. Now we just went shopping, so obviously, or my husband did, you'll see a few things out, like the paper towels that don't belong there. So this is our bed. And our laundry bag and shower bag usually stay on the bed during the daytime. At night we put them on my chair, or his chair. And I got command hooks to put his hats up there because I'm always finding them on the floor. So I just put command hooks up there to keep them up there. And this is one of my other um, truck living creations. That thing came out of our refrigerator. It usually is used to dispense cans like soda cans, but we don't ever have soda cans in the fridge. We don't have soda cans to begin with. So one day it came out and I go, forget it, I'm leaving it out. And then I put the bananas up there because I'm so tired of my bananas turning brown from um, and bruised from the bumps in the road. So I just used it and stuck them up there. And for now, it works great actually. The last several times we have bananas, they are not bruised whatsoever. So 
I'm excited for that one. I'm proud, actually. Our table is shoved at the end of the bed. Totally works there. And then our side. All of the little, I'll show you over here, all of our little gadgetry. There's our fan um, is, is plugged into that one. And then we do have, I'll show you down here. There's the bunk heater uh, thing. There is storage under the bed. You can lift up the bottom and we have tons of stuff under there. We, we need to go through it. We're not pack rats by any means, but it's like bags and blankets and jackets. So we need to take care of that. So this is the top. There's our fan. And we have one storage drawer full of stuff there. Um, clothes, some clothes in there, some things we just need to kind of go through. There's our distilled water that they only had at the Lexington Walmart because everybody's worried about Hurricane Matthew. My husband's brand new grill, our refrigerator. And we keep my scarves in the top one of that. James's underclothes, my underclothes go in the bottom. And more stuff up there. Stuff, some of that stuff I just shoved in there because it was on the bed and uh, I need to go through it. We have shoes over there and the bag of bags, which is our trash bags basically. <laughs> so definitely have those. And then for those of you that don't know about this, this is a toddler safety lock. So I can show you. See that? This locks. Two pack at Walmart for like five bucks. And we love it. That thing has never flown open since we've had it. We actually had one on our old fridge. I remembered it from my days teaching at a preschool and we had those on the refrigerators. So totally worth it. And then the way my husband has this set up, so I can move back, there we go. He has pieces of wood up top and then down here to brace it down on the bottom. And then he has ratchet straps running over those pieces of wood to hold down the fridge. Now it's moved just a teeny bit from months of the road shaking, so he will have to just sort of crook it back just a little um, soon. But um, he keeps the ones on the bottom there so that way the, the door of the fridge can open up and it won't hit the lip of the uh, upper, upper bunk. And then we have um, a bungee going over the top of just the uh, storage containers under the fridge and then it comes down here and and is ooh, there it is right there our ratchet straps I use hair ties cuz <laughs> they were just hanging and my husband had some weird MacGyver wraparound thing I go forget it let me use hair ties cuz hair ties fix the world my makeup bag um, let's see we'll start over here so there's our wardrobe my husband's suit from the wedding, obviously it tells you what kind of people we are, it's just in there. And then we bought this storage container, uh, or actually it might have came from my apartment, because the uh, air conditioner, I don't know if you want to call it a duct thing, is in here. And in the winter time when it's cold and we use the uh, heat, that thing sweats. So we had clothes that were damp because of it. Um, so I put this in here, pajamas go in the top. James's t-shirts in the middle and my t-shirts in the bottom. We don't hang anything. It's so nice and neat. Um, and I'm fine with that. Unless we're going to go someplace fancy, then I'll deal with something that I might need to have ironed. So this bottom one, this is an old sock that I lost the pair to. I, <laughs> I cut it and wrapped it here. I keep hair ties in this thing. Bobby pins, um, that kind of stuff, because... I kept losing it. So it's wonderful at the end of the, the day, if I have a hair tie, I just open the thing and put it in this sock. Just a tiny little ankle sock. Best thing I could have done. Well, one of them. My flat iron, our pods for laundry. And then I keep our extra socks up there. And uh, whenever I do laundry and I find socks, I can always get them from that side. Down here, we have, let's see. People put TV, microwave, we have neither. <laughs> so, and then this light obviously turns off. Um, there's a 12 volt plug back there. Our laptops, stuff. My This is sort of my writing area because this thing opens and obviously my cooking area um, is here. But this is my writing space because that drawer comes out. And uh, I love it. So I'll come back here when James is watching his shows and I don't want to watch him and I'll do my... Uh, my typing and then um this one has a wrapper for some reason 
our aroma and it has one of the propanes. That's all we have right now, one propane. And um, I can keep a gallon of water back there too. So I have that. Let's come around here. This side is the good side. So we have our lunchbox. Let me tell y'all how I am very, very serious about my, um, my disposable tin things for the lunchbox. It's like 20 of them right there. <laughs> we have fiber because you always got to have fiber, right? Uh, when, you're, when you're an adult. Paper plates, plastic bowls, coffee pot, all the other stuff. So I ran out of creamer. I had to get that for three bucks that it loves because I have to have some sort of creamer. And um, I don't know why my husband didn't just get the little pods. But we got that. <laughs> Thank God my husband got me creamer today because I was, I don't care for that stuff. But I'd rather have that than none whatsoever. So as I said, we're serious about making coffee up in here. We've got the filters, the coffee. This is really good coffee too, actually. If you if you're unless you're getting like the fancy schmancy, intense bold Maxwell House, that's where it's at. Then we have here, where we keep our like st storage for food stuff. I've got my adorable um, Star Wars <laughs> Star Wars stuff. Don't mind my fingernails, obviously. It's been a minute since I've been to a manicurist. Um, parchment paper. Uh, freezer bags, foil, all that's in that one. This one is all of our spices, salt and pepper. This has all of our spoons and ladles and kitchen utensils. Extra coffee mugs. And then down here, I have a three drawer set that I had for scrapbooking. The top one has Q-tips because I had nowhere else for them to go. And I made this. <laughs> These are the um, like cardboard packaging from plastic utensils and Pop-Tarts. I cut those up and they fit perfect in here for my spoons, forks, and knives. I love it. I feel so like calm about it when I see it, how organized that looks, it's just strange. Bathroom stuff, medicine stuff, my onion. Trip packs I haven't put away yet. There's our food box. So I have a old ratchet strap plastic holder and a piece of wood that, hold, that raises up my box there so it doesn't uh it's heavy <laughs> so it doesn't catch on there's a little lip here so it doesn't catch there and um that works awesomely so we have another cabinet down here I, it's hard to tell you how tall that thing is i would say 18 inches or so but i'll tell you what's in there our emergency bucket <laughs> it's a five gallon bucket from home depot you and we have a lid on ours just because um i like to have the the lid uh, it's a pair, whatever, but you put a bag in it if you need to, you know, go potty or something like that. That's why it's under there. You know, you don't keep that kind of thing out. There is a bucket of electronics devices, uh, or co old cords and stuff like that. So that's what we keep in there. Um, and then over here we have our air hose right there. And then I have like a shoe rack thing on the back of my chair. I do have shoes in there. I have my flats. Um, a couple of other things that you know oh we forgot to put it away just put it in there until we get to under the bed or whatever um, I have my own personal notebooks and um, what is that my clipboard under there in there so just a place to put things you know kind of out of the way so they're just not shoved on the bed while we're driving I can reach back there if need be so that is our truck oh and I'll show you this so I have my colander and my measuring cups and my colander we use it all the time so that was definitely something I liked. And then I had a pot holder that was actually up here too. Um, it disappeared. So when I get a new pot holder, I'm gonna put it back up there. But larger kitchen things, they totally stay up there while we're driving down the road. They don't fly off. Um, nothing does. It, we learned in the beginning, it's a pain in the behind, um, you know, to be driving and, and you know, something flies off and, and takes the attention away from my husband driving. So. We've definitely learned in the last year and a half, a little over a year and a half, where to put things. <laughs> so that is our truck. I appreciate you guys for watching. Sorry it's a little bit long, but wanted to be thorough. Again, any questions or comments, let me know. And uh, thank you all for watching.